News Today. Please subscribe to view the latest news. This is breaking news today. Charles Krauthammer calls for the arrest of Barack Hussein Obama. One of most respected conservative thinkers and political commentators is Charles Krauthammer. Look what he has to say about Iran ransom scandal. In 2008, a young, fresh-faced African-American junior senator promised the American public that if he was elected president of the United States, he would have the most transparent administration in history. Well, he has failed miserably on that promise, and Noda TV pundit Charles Krauthammer just provided another recent example. Speaking about the $400 million payment to Iran in exchange for the released prisoners, Krauthammer said, they had to print the money here, ship it over to Switzerland, turn it into Swiss francs and euros, and then ship it over to Iran. For those of you with a legal background, does this process look familiar to you? If not, then let me fill you in with a little help from Krauthammer's further comments on the issue. If a private company had done this, this is called money laundering. The CEO would be in jail right now. Krauthammer was reacting to a Wall Street Journal report saying that the Justice Department objected to the State Department's decision to do this. Of course, the Justice Department objected, Krauthammer said. It was illegal. Something is very fishy regarding this deal, and it isn't just Krauthammer who feels this way either. Forbes details the process where the money was first electronically transferred to Europe in February, converted to francs, and then clandestinely shipped via aircraft to Iran. Just one day after that, four Americans were released from Iranian prisons. While the mullahs and military leaders in Iran are calling this money exactly what it is, a ransom, Obama is claiming something different. He says the $400 million payment was part of a $1.7 billion negotiated settlement from an aborted arms deal in 1979. Finally, many are beginning to compare this to Iran-Contra, which almost derailed Ronald Reagan's administration. However, for an administration that has continued to devalue the American public, such as Obama's, this is just another day at the office. What do you think about this? Don't you forget like, share and subscribe American News Today channel. Thank you for watching.